Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to what was originally going to be yet another leak video, but we have official confirmation that the FNAF 2020 game is titled Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. So I know we're going to be hopping into this a little bit faster than we normally do, but that's just because I'm really excited to share this news. So earlier today, I saw this post, and it said, according to some trademark government page, there was something called Security Breach in works. And then you can see it says FNAF, 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 FNAF VR Help Wanted, FNAF VR Help Wanted Without the Colon, Five Nights at Freddy's AR Special Delivery, and then Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. And I was like, crap, that must be the name of the game. So, the original idea, pop on here, share this news, it was gonna be a really quick video, just, you know, something out there. I might have even just done a community post, but then some th some other things started happening. Then we got this post saying the security breach is tagged as a downloadable computer game software and a downloadable virtual reality software. We're getting Project 2020 in VR. And then it provides an image saying Five Nights at Freddy's security breach. It has all this gobbledygook and then it says downloadable computer game software downloadable computer game software for personal computers and home video game consoles. So, right there, we already know it's gonna be on the PC and it's gonna be on the consoles. Maybe even mobile devices, but maybe. <laughs> downloadable software for playing video games. Downloadable computer game software via a global computer network and wireless devices. Wireless devices does it, doesn't mean iPhone. This is my first time fully reading through this, by the way, so what I'm reading to you I don't know what it is. Downloadable computer software for playing video games. Downloadable computer programs for video game and computer games. Downloadable electronic game programs. Downloadable electronic game software. Downloadable electronic game software for use on personal computers or video game consoles. Downloadable game software. Downloadable interactive game programs. Downloadable interactive game software. Downloadable interactive multimedia computer game programs. Downloadable video game programs, downloadable video game software, downloadable video and computer games uh, programs, sorry. Downloadable virtual reality game software, there it is, downloadable virtu virtual reality software for playing video games. Entertainment services, namely providing online computer games. Entertainment services, namely providing online video games, providing information online relating to computer games and computer enhancement for games. Providing a computer game for use network-wide by network users. Virtual reality game services provided online from a computer network. So yeah, that was a lot to get through. Really boring, actually. Sorry I had to get, I, I'm sorry I had to put you guys through that. But it was information, and information is information. So we know it's going to be a video game in virtual reality, possibly even a flat mode if it's coming to consoles. I'm guessing it's going to have a VR mode and a flat mode, just like how Help Wanted does, which makes sense, you know. So people that don't have a headset right here can still play it. That's kind of something I wish they did with Help Wanted initially. I know it came out um, later on, but it came out like um, half a year after that. After the initial release to Help Wanted, it got a flat mode. Which, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm glad it got a flat mode. Um, but I'm just really, really, really hoping that when this game comes out, it'll already have a flat mode and a VR mode. Which, based off of this, is something that I'm guessing is going to be the case. And so I was like, all right, yep, we'll just throw up the video, you know, a couple leaks here and there. Uh, I'll name the uh, name the video. Is this the name for the next FNAF game? Because, you know, I don't like to put the spoilers in my title and thumbnails. Um, but then I checked scottgames.com, and this popped up. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. And god damn, mwah, that logo, Scott. Whew, Steel Wolf Studios. Damn, I'm, I'm hyped for this. God damn, if we don't get this as a proper in real life, you know, light up thing that you can put on your wall, you guys are losing money because I, I want this so bad. I haven't actually checked what it saves as. Okay, so the image saves as sb.jpg, so security breach jpeg. The source code still says, stay the course, I will. Focus on my voice, I will. Don't let anyone lead you astray, I won't. Have you selected one? I have. So no change there. Huh, interesting, interesting. So this is the official name for the, um, 
for the next game, which is great. That's a really dope ass name. I just want to get that out of there. That is a fan freaking fantastic name. Security Breach. Oh my god. And the logo is so good too. It's got Glamrock Freddy on there. Oh, I'm, I'm so hyped. So, now I want to talk a little bit about um, release dates, trailers, teasers, all that stuff. So, clearly, um, they had this ready to go. When they were going to release this teaser, I don't know. I don't know if it was because of the leaks today that they released it, or if they were going to wait a little bit longer to release it, but maybe they, they just got out there to say, yes, this is the name of the game, it is still happening. <laughs> I mean, we all know it's still happening, but, you know, progress is going smoothly. Even with the leaks, you know, Steel Wool Studios is still chugging along. Someone also mentioned a possible trailer coming out soon, and I do think that could be the case. I mean, think about it. We have the characters from the leaks, we have the name of the game, so really, the only thing that we're missing is plot and a storyline. Both things that I would expect to come from a trailer. When the trailer is going to be released, I don't know. Honestly, I would expect sometime this month or next month. You know, probably the next one or two months, which is really, really... And by one or two months, this month and next month. I'm really excited for this. This is great. I love that logo. <laughs> Yes. Oh, so, someone pointed out that um, there's a problem with the with the teaser that one of the wires from the uh, from the logo goes out of the image. That's funny. Yeah, I'm looking through the comments on the uh, on the Reddit post, and everyone's like, "Damn that logo, though. That logo." I can try brightening up the teaser. I don't know if there's gonna be anything though, because usually there's not. Yeah, no, it does not look like there's anything when you brighten up the teaser. So. Is that so really there's not much to go off of here I mean we got a teaser we got the official name for the game which is really really hype I am really excited for this and the fact that it's possibly going to be in VR as well imagine that imagine right and this is me going off as, as on a little tangent me hoping what the game is gonna be like you are walking around the around the mall with the with the characters running after you Huh? That, that would be great. Another thing to keep in mind is we know nothing about the gameplay. Not a damn thing. So, it could be typical FNAF style, Survive Five Nights, uh, the characters chasing after you, cameras, you're sat in the office, all that stuff. You know, keep track of your power. Or it could be like Help Wanted with certain minigames and stuff like that. I don't think it's going to be like Help Wanted. It might have, you know, the normal FNAF style. Um, mixed in with a little bit of Help Wanted, but I don't see it being like Help Wanted. Based off of the teasers we're getting, this is a completely new game with a new cast of characters. Um, it's interesting that we still don't know what uh, Glamrock Cheetah looks like, but then again, technically we shouldn't know what any of them look like. I'm a little curious what it means by Security Breach, though. Hmm. And, and the logo is in the shape of a caution symbol with Freddy in the center. Hmm. I wonder, maybe maybe they're like the toy animatronics that have, like, facial recognition, and they can detect a predator a mile away. I wonder if it has something to do with Vanny, and Glitchtrap, and all of them, all of them lot, you know? Huh. So someone's breached the security. Someone has gone somewhere they should not have gone. Somewhere has, someone has done something that they should not have done. Someone has seen something that they should not have done. Some should not have seen. Jesus. <laughs> I can't talk. It is interesting. It is really interesting. Maybe we did something that we shouldn't have done. Maybe it is talking about Vanny. Maybe to get to the person that she wanted to get, Vanny had to break a couple rules, you know? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm really interested to see where this game is going to go. Because we have had a lot of information on it. Not only does it have to introduce a brand new location with the mall, a brand new set of characters with Monty and Roxanne and all the Glamour characters, um, it also has Vanny and her storyline with Glitch Trap and whoever she's trying to hunt down. There's just a lot to pack into this game and I'm really curious to see what it's going to be like. So, I'm just really freaking hyped for this game. I know I keep saying it, but I'm really excited for this game. I know, I keep saying it, but oh my god, this is gonna be great, because think about it, we have not had a FNAF title since December. No. Well, if you want to count Freddy in Space 2, December. But if you want to talk about the main series, uh, Special Delivery, which was November, 
And yeah, it's, you know, been getting updates, but we haven't had a proper FNAF release since November. Which is, you know, uh, what, seven months? So it's been over half a year. Damn. So yeah, I would expect this game to have a trailer in the next, either this month or next month. Couple more teasers, probably. Maybe like one or two more. I don't think there's going to be a lot because... Uh, or maybe there will be. Because when we got the leaked designs for the characters, those were prototype designs. So maybe... Hmm, I don't know. It's in it's interesting. It's interesting. Because the leaks feel like... Makes me feel like it should come out soon. But at the same time... Not. You know? Because if those designs were prototypes, that means that they were either old designs that somehow got through, or they're still working on the designs. I don't know. It, it's also difficult because we don't have any gameplay footage, so we don't know how far into development the game actually is, you know? It's interesting. I don't know. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. So yeah, that's really it. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. That's a, that's a great name. I keep saying it, but it's a great name. It's a great logo. I'm really hyped for this game. Hopefully you guys are too. I, like I said earlier, I would expect a teaser trailer coming out fairly soon. This month, maybe next month, that would be my guess. Uh, so yeah, I look forward to that. So, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.